Now, though, if you struggle with achieving the perfect fake tan, then our next guest might have the answer for you. All Ever Evens makeup ambassador Sir John has an alternative approach to getting that flawless summer glow. And even Beyonce's a fan. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. It's very nice to have hey, you here thank today. You for me. So, most people yeah. think at this time of year, right, the sun's coming out, you're going to start wearing clothes where you have to get your legs out after sure. a long winter. Absolutely. And they think, right, well, maybe it's, you know, the sun's not that brilliant here. What's, what other options do you have? Well, this is uh, body makeup. So, body makeup is an alternative to color, to actually tan. So, sometimes tans, they give you color, but they don't give you a skin perfecting element. They right. don't cover bruise. They don't cover lackluster complexion. So this is going to be maybe an alternative to an otherwise mundane skin. You know? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and we're going to go directly onto the skin. And this is like hairspray, ladies. You do not need to rub this in. And the cool thing about this is that, or these in general, let me see your legs, is that they actually, they don't need to be rubbed in at all and they pass the white sheet test. So you can actually sleep in white sheets and this will not transfer. So how long will that last for then? Because you normally think body makeup is something that you kind of wash off when yeah, you get in the this, shower. This washes completely off in the shower. Soap and water is going to take it off, but it won't actually transfer onto a white dress. Yeah. All right, that's, that's very good. So one thing I like to do is I like to lengthen the arms. And the way to lengthen the arms is to go deeper complexion on the sides and maybe go a little bit lighter in the center. So if you notice, I'm taking a color that's a bit lighter. Let me see this way. And so right here. And let me see your legs as well. Right down so the center of the legs. And that, what that does is it creates a three-dimensional effect. We always want to leave our knees and our elbows void of color, just in general. Oh, really? Just in general, yeah. So this is a bit like what we've seen people doing body co co contouring on the face? Yeah. And now you're doing it like for the body. Slimming, like sculpting. Sculpting is a 2.0 of co contouring. So contouring is aggressive and it leaves lines and you have to blend. You yeah. don't have to blend this. You don't have to touch this as off. But it gives you a beautiful bell of complexion that's actually really, really popular. Smells nice. So you've got to have someone in your household who can, uh, who can spray this? do Not this at all. for you. Not at all. You can you do this in any yourself? direction. So this sprays in any direction. I can get this way. I can spray my back if I want to. This is one of those things. Turn around for me. You can even do your back. Hold your hair up. If you're in a place where you can touch the back of your neck, you actually can spray your back if you want to. We're going into festival season. We're going into wedding season. Yes. We're going into actually, you know, people are wearing a lot more skin. Even if you're wearing your legs out like you have out today, Holly, you yep. could actually do the same thing. Let me Go show on you. then, give us a spray. <laughs> yeah, and so this is one of those things. It's not going to mess up the other one. He's, oh. done this, he's done this to Beyonce, so, uh, is, so do, you, do you remember you Coachella? Have to pay. Do you remember yes, Coachella? Yes, I've never so, been. Yeah, so I use body makeup on Coachella. This is one of those things. She's doing two hours of cardio on stage, and it didn't transfer on. So even when she's sweating oh, yeah. up there on stage, yeah, it did didn't not move, run or anything? didn't budge at all. At all. Wow, yeah. that is impressive. It's a win. It's a win. How do you know what color matches for your skin then? Because you use two then, a yeah, lighter so I'm one. Using, and I'm a... using a lighter, and this, uh, this one's called Ivory. And the thing is, I'm using a lighter to go in and just give a bit of more dimension here, and then a deeper under the armpits, on down. And what that does is creates quite a three dimensional quality to the lens. Okay. And do you have to prep your skin? I know that if you have a fake tan, just sometimes in general, you have to have a bit of exfoliate. You want to always moisturize. You always want to be hydrated. You want to exfoliate your skin just in general, and then that helps to keep your color on longer. Yeah, well, Ed is our uh, runner here, so you're getting a good day today. Yeah, aren't you? right. <laughs> <laughs> All of this. Have you used anything like this before? No, I haven't. No, no? not at all. And what do you think of the results so far? I love it, definitely. It makes your skin a lot more smooth. And the smell. The smell. It, this, does, it, smell it doesn't it smell like a fake and yeah. bake. It doesn't smell like a bad tan. This no. smells honestly like a really nice, refreshing. I want you to keep your windows open and keep your air completely ventilated because you don't want to, you know, have anything that's aerosol yeah. in your nose for a long time. Can you use it on your face? You can. So there actually is a foundation. And so this one, I want to say, yeah, for sure. We want to start to go and do a really sheer veil on the skin. Do me a favor, hold your hair up for me into a top knot, just like that, and close your eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to give this right on top of the face. And it's the easiest, I mean, easiest great, veil of face foundation you have. Honestly, this And is, does it cover? I mean, if you've got blemishes and a stump knot that you Yeah, so this is going to give you but... medium to buildable coverage. Medium okay. to buildable coverage. This is not full coverage. This is going to give you lacquered from forehead to chin. This is in the, the drill hammer that we need concealer for. But this is a nice finishing. Okay. This way. And you can also go right on top of this. And don't be afraid to put it on a highlighter. Put on a cream blush. You can actually do your eyeshadow after, do your mascara after, and not have a problem. And does it ever come up patchy? If it does, can you sort of It shouldn't, patch it honestly, because you're at a distance. So if you're at a distance, you're creating an airbrush, sort of an airbrush quality to your skin, and it, it should never streak. It should never streak, and it should, honestly, it should never give you fades either. And you don't need to rub it in with a mitt Not at all. Anything. Not at all. So what I like to do is I like to keep a big, clean brush and a buff. So one thing I think everyone should have, it doesn't matter if you're using this or any other product, you should always keep a big brush by, almost like a magic eraser, if you will, and this buffs the product into a really, really nice shine. So who have you, uh, who, I, mean, I don't know that you've got 
client confidentiality and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> regardless of all of that. Um, yeah. who, have you, who have you done this on? So, Priyanka Chopra, I mean, uh, Serena Williams, Beyonce for Coachella, this is like Carly Claus, like these are all my girls, Margot Robbie. So, this is one of the things everyone in my business yeah. needs complexion. And it's not just from forehead to chin, it's in the body as well. And they prefer this to the fake tan. Yeah, I mean, it's completely different. So a fake tan is going to give you color, but this gives you skin perfecting, beautiful complexion. So they're completely in a novel direction. Yeah. Wow, OK. Yeah. And you started this, was it 20 years ago that you were, about 20 years ago, were you in Mac in New York? I started, yeah, about 20 years ago. About 20 years homework. ago. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And then how did you come from that then, to sort of being I mean, Beyonce's? sort of roll with the punches. It used to be Charlotte Tilbury's assistant for a very long time. Uh -huh. Pat McGrath's assistant for a very long time. And then I met some really cool people. I also have a television show on Lifetime with Ashley Graham called American Beauty Star yeah. in the US, and here I am. And here you are. Oh, it's looking great. Thank it you does, very much. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you, Holly and Phil. You're more than welcome. You, you just put your money you in to... the tin on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how long does one bottle last? Is it just one complete go, or can see, you do yes, a couple? You see how that oh, now that's... mosquito bite is covered? Is that like a mozzie bite you've got on you? She's much... got a mozzie bite, and yeah. it's disappeared. It's that is good. Very so, good. Yeah, this is going to last you a while. I would say, honestly, a few applications, maybe a couple of weeks even. Mm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to you meet much. you.